Hi folks. Recently a number of people have been making a big deal about how much money Romney gives to charity. Uh, if by charity they mean the uh, Mormon church, I'm sure he does. Uh, it's every Mormon, good Mormon's responsibility to uh, give 10% of his income to the church. And somebody as rich as Romney I probably gives much more than 10% of his income to the church. When you're as rich as Romney is, that money just keeps stacking up. All those dividends from all those investments, they just keep paying out no matter what you do. Sometimes it's a, a bit of an effort to spend all that stuff. Besides, by giving money to the, church, the Mormon church, which is a charity, which is tax deductible, he can take that money off his income tax and pay even less than he does already. The interesting thing, the thing that I think is important, is that um, this charity that Romney is spending so much money on has a vested interest in one of its own members, Romney, becoming president. Puts a whole different light on things, doesn't it? In Seattle, the uh, Mormon ads uh, started appearing about the time the primaries got going. Uh, at first, they were just uh, signs on the bus or billboards showing a uh, photogenic, young, wholesome person uh, with, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a construction worker and I'm a Mormon or I'm a, you know, a, a health care provider, and I'm a Mormon, and that was the tagline. Now, as we uh, approach the end of the election, the whole thing has been ramped up. Now there are uh, ads on TV, ads on the Internet. Some of them are even attached to videos um, here on YouTube. Uh, the ads have been extended, so you get a little... Uh, biography about the person, how, uh, you know, they had their legs blown off, but they're still playing basketball or climbing cliffs, or, uh, you know, they've overcome all this huge adversity, and you get, so you get a little story, and then at the end, you get to the tagline, and I'm a Mormon. The church, the Mormon church, is literally spending millions of dollars trying to convince American citizens that Mormons are just normal, just normal regular folks. They're not. They're not a bunch of freaks. They're not a bunch of religious fanatics. They don't have all kinds of wacky beliefs. They're not cult members. No, they're just average Americans. In fact, going from the ads, they're probably better than average Americans. Uh, most Mormons don't smoke. They don't drink alcohol. They don't drink coffee, which is a feat. <laughs> um, they try not to have sex with anyone except their wife. And, uh, you know, the people in the ads are all uh, beautiful, healthy, young, as if there are no uh, fat, lazy Mormons or Mormons with bad skin. They're all beautiful. It wasn't always like this. In the 1800s, when uh, Mormon, the Mormon church was just getting off the ground, uh, most Christians, most Christian churches in the United States considered them at best heretics and at worst just plain heathens. One of the reasons why the, the more, well, the principal reason why the Mormons moved to Salt Lake was to avoid the... Uh, angry mobs of Christians in Illinois, Missouri, and Arkansas that were in the habit of lynching them or murdering them or burning their houses down. Even after uh, Salt Lake was established, the uh, U.S. government felt the need to send uh, the army, the U.S. army, out to Salt Lake City to keep an eye on the Mormons to prevent them from uh, setting up their own uh, nation and seceding from the Union. Uh, Fort Douglas, which is on the site of the President uh, University of Utah, um, 
was built there and had its cannons uh, facing the temple, the Mormon temple in downtown Salt Lake. They weren't facing out against the Indians in the hills. <laughs> All other things aside, I think it's safe to say that even 20 years ago, the thought of a Mormon uh, making a serious effort to become the president of the United States would have been laughable. Nobody would have, no political person would have ever considered such a thing. The Mormon church saw or sees, obviously, they had a lot of PR work to do to make uh, Mormonism a mainstream uh, religion to, to up its its uh, profile of acceptability. Uh, I'm sure the millions of dollars that Romney has donated to the, to the church over his uh, career uh, has gone a long way to make that possible. Um, so when you think about Romney giving money to charity, it's not like that money is going to, you know, feed starving children somewhere or uh, find a cure for cancer or help old people with their medical expenses. Uh, more than likely, it's just going to this million-dollar ad campaign to make Mormonism seem normal, to make Romney, who is a Mormon, by implication seem normal. And I will grant you that making Romney seem normal probably requires a good bit of money. But the point is, he's not spending it. He's not giving money to help other people. He's giving money just to help himself in good, standard, vulture capitalist style. His, good, his, his needs, his wants, his goods, that's all that really matters. The rest of you can all go to hell. <laughs> and, and while we're on the subject of uh, Mormonism and uh, Mormon becoming president, uh, and this is just a very personal opinion, I'm a, an atheist and um, a hardcore materialist, cause and effect kind of person, I have to say that uh, anybody, you know, you need to look into what the Mormons believe. And I would just say that as a rational person, I think anyone who uh, actually can believe that uh, package of nonsense automatically is disqualified to be president. He's too stupid. He's too gullible. Uh, every, other, every other realist uh, political leader in the world is going to run rings around him. Uh, the American taxpayers are going to be buying uh, swampland in Florida and uh, probably buying the Brooklyn Bridge because anybody who can accept this, you know, the Mormon theology, which is so patently made up and fraudulent, uh, he's a sucker. He's going to believe whatever, whatever anybody tells him. And is that alone, as far as I'm concerned, disqualifies Mitt Romney for being president of the United States. I don't care how photogenic he is. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.